Brandon. This one taken from the seven. And he's got some space here. What a way to start the second half. These guys are showing no signs of letting up. They have a chance to take a decided advantage with this possession. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And he has not been able to find the same type of running room this week as last. It, you know, such a great game. We met with him. He came in, had the biggest smile on his face, so we just thought that would carry over. Sometimes you wonder if maybe it borders on a little overconfidence. They were so good last week. He's getting extra blocking out in the perimeter from the wide receivers to get him downfield. In this game, maybe he came into it with the idea that it's just going to be like last week, be a piece of cake. And what they're getting from the defense isn't exactly the same. And boy, it's been tough going for him. That play almost seemed like a baseball play. See ball, hit ball. But in this case, see guy with ball, tackle guy with ball. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. Here we go now. Green, 39. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Brandon, that play ended so fast, it's almost as if the quarterback handed it to the runner and the tackler was there right away for a loss of yardage. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. And this one is right through. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So they had great field position, but a three-play drive that actually goes backwards, and then they kick the field goal. And I think the key sequence in there, the key phrase you just gave us, a three-play drive, had the momentum, great field position, unable to move the football. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. That was a really nice play to be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. And he stopped immediately there. Back-to-back -back stops, make it third and ten. But it was stopped on that play. We said plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. Well, here we go now. An extra defensive back in there on third and ten. On play action, they'll throw. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. And they'll go on the ground. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. The best defensive lineman 
They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. He'll drop to throw to the sideline. And oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And they insert their dime package, six DBs here on third and six. Expecting pass all the way. They'll look to throw here. He's got his man on the crossing route. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. So he makes the grab and the chains move forward. Nice job by the offensive line giving them time to complete that first down pass. Offense comes to the line now. First and ten. One receiver left. Three to the right. Back to throw now on first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he showcases the spin. A pretty good gain before he's taken down. And some options here for the offense on second and two. Partner, nothing complicated here. This is just a pretty simple drag route. You're exactly right, Brandon. Instead of throwing it downfield, they just throw it underneath and let the receiver do the work. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now a play fake here on first down. Backing up. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That's complete right around the eight. Well, they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick here is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off that lead. And now you put the pressure on your defense, who didn't particularly play all that well in the first half but they're going to need to step it up here and make some plays if these guys are going to have any chance. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. No gain on the play there. Second down. 
And when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 35. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves his sticks. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And the offense lining up first and 10. He'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll take it down deep into Tennessee territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 55 yards. Now that play will end up on the highlights and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield. Those guys made that play possible. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, on that play, the expression, don't blink, you might miss something, certainly applied. That was fast. Defense diagnosed the play, and it was over in a heartbeat. They'll give it to him right up the gun. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. They'll look to throw on third and goal. This will be caught at about the six. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point the kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in the contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped in the contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bash. <laughs> Super toe. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press cut. Coverage look defensively. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And they'll run it here. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up your play action and throw the football. You control the clock because you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. He'll look to throw. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Give him three on the play, and that'll make it third down. 
everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Short of the sticks after that completion, and now it's third down for this offense. Play action fake. They'll look to throw. Try to lay one up deep. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. That goes as a gain of 36 on third down. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, That'll drive a team towards a victory. And here comes play number six on this drive. Let's go! Three. Ah. On first down, they'll run it on the draw play. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game, really at the point of attack. The offensive line's just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking, but you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. to throw. He's got time. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Good job by the O-line quarterback. Had time to go through his checks. That's one you need to take advantage of. A perfect situation, and they're unable to take advantage of it. When you have that much time to scan the field, you have to find an open receiver. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. And his kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. All right, so it's getting late in this one. Now, you could argue that they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but they still face a pretty uphill battle. Yeah, even with the field goal here, it's going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns now to get back in it, and that's going to be a tall order against this defense. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish. The strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. They come out here in the eye. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. 
He'll drop to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Their dangerous wide receiver, his first touchdown of the new season, and the Colts are able to grow their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that <laughs> went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? And it's up and good. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the result for the Colts is a touchdown. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They'll get 19 yards there. And it'll give the Titans a first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can run through it in there. And they were able to successfully complete that one. Surveying the field. And he finds a man on the crossing route. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll look to throw here on first down, and that's incomplete. It appears that the pressure is affecting him today. Normally, he knows exactly when to get rid of the football, but today, because he's been hit a few times, he's getting rid of it a little bit too quickly. Let's go! Blue landing! Blue landing! And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And he comes back with one complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. They'll look to throw again. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Looks like a nine-yard loss. And it also brings up fourth. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man. And each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other. And they just locked people down. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Now we've got movement up front. I think this is going to be on the Titans. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. 
Now, you know I don't often have sympathy for quarterbacks, but in this situation, I don't know what else he could do. Fourth down, so he can't just throw the ball away. He's got to find a way to try and make a play, but the pressure ended up getting to him. Pressure got to him. Really big sack and a turnover here on downs. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. I know you're trying to wring every yard out of a run. But I think nine yards there is ideal in this situation. Yeah, now next couple plays, you only need one yard. Keep that clock rolling with a lead here in the fourth. Yeah, what you're saying is maybe if it takes you one or two more runs to get the first down, that's extra time, extra plays. Really hurts the team on defense. Another pistol look here. On play action, they'll throw. Finding time. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. So the offense now dealing with a second and seven. All right, here we go. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Going to give this time to the tailback. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. So out comes the field goal team once more. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. And the Titans getting set to go. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball. And then all of a sudden, it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll bring up a second and 11. So the second consecutive week here that he has been just a minor part of this offense. What's going on? I think part of that is that defenses now view the tight end position as a major part of offenses. So they game plan for them. More double coverage. Sometimes they take a really good cover, cover player and put him on the tight end as opposed to other positions. Because in the past, the tight end was really just guarded by safeties. And nowadays, it can be a safety, a corner, linebacker, it can be any one of those guys, and maybe more than one of those guys.
guy to try and take him out of the game. He's struggling for the second consecutive week. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Here we go now. Three, 19. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Colts are going to get the football in outstanding field position. Uh, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? A little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. We'll see how they respond now. And the Colts coming out now. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. They'll drop to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone is going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. So now at third and 12 with an extra defender here in the secondary, a nickel look. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. The Colts send out their punter. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. The Titans offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Try again with the arm here on second down. And he's got Rome. And avoids the contact by sliding. Seven yards on the play. And just like that, it's third down. And on third and three, they decided to go with a dime package. Six DBs. Yeah, you're right. They've got six out there. Now back to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. He went full scale, loose, flexible, finding a way to catch the ball in some traffic for a key first down. Yeah, really a nice job of adjusting to the ball in the air. Not the most accurate of throws, but able to adjust and make the grab. Back to throw now on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 26 yards on the pick up there. And it's good enough for a Tennessee first down. Time for a break. This one, all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. 
They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Fresh set of downs here. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Throws a quick hitter on the slant. That's complete. A gain of six there on first. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. And then you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Whether they deserve credit or not, the defense is going to take credit for that incompletion because it always feels good when you slow down an offense. Back to throw again. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Third down is the down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. The pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. They'll look to throw. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. They have the big lead here late. They protected their home turf well, didn't they? They certainly did, partner. And just think about how good that feels because every team has a goal when they start the year to win at home. All right, and sometimes you don't win all of them, but they managed to get that done today. Just think about your routine stays the same. Everything's familiar. You feel right going into the game, and they translated that into a win. They did indeed. They protected the home field, and now the final stages. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Yeah, let me puff out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in their offensive game. They'll give it to him right up the gut. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. The Colts send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for Indianapolis, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for Tennessee, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one, and they'll try to make amends next week as they host the Cleveland Browns. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Colts are winners as we say so long from Indianapolis.